Tonight, neighbors are speaking out after IMPD used a pit maneuver during a chase, causing the suspect to lose control and eventually crash. Yeah, so a pit maneuver is when police intentionally hit a vehicle during a pursuit to stop it. It happened yesterday morning near 33rd and Sherman. 24 Hour News 8's Elizabeth Choi has more from the scene. People are upset because the accident happened right here on busy Sherman Drive, where there are residents and businesses. Fortunately, there were no innocent lives lost, but neighbors want to speak up before it's too late. At BNB Christian Healthcare Center, their job is to keep their 30 residents safe. That could mean anything from proper record keeping to proper medication distribution. But some things are out of their hands. We just barely missed our building by 15 feet. We have residents, we have workers right in this area right here. We actually have people come out and smoke sometimes in this back area. BNB owner Carlos Darden says residents were eating when the SUV lost control on Sherman Drive. After police implemented a pit maneuver, the SUV slammed into a light pole, continued through the facility's yard, smashed a fence post, and eventually stopped. I question it. You know what I'm saying? Was it really worth hitting that car and having it flip and barely hit a building and almost hit a building? You know, I think it was questionable. According to police, the driver was leading them on a chase in a stolen vehicle. You have to really weigh, is it worth risking lives of innocent people to catch these people? I mean, if it was a stolen car, I mean, I think there's worse crimes. On the scene of the crash yesterday, IMPD discussed when officers would decide to use a pit maneuver. The safety condition of the neighborhood, or it could be uh, whether it's a school zone, they try to consider all those factors. One more factor Carlos would like IMPD to consider as he tries to keep residents safe. Oh, I understand you have to catch the criminals, but you also have to look out for the, you know what I'm saying, the people in this area. We did reach out to IMPD to comment on today's story, but at this time, they would not make anybody available. From the city's east side, Elizabeth Choi, 24-hour News 8.